What if your people could work safer? What if they could be more loyal? What if they could be happier? What if they stayed longer? What if their concentration was better? What if they're more connected to our purpose and our customers? These are the kind of questions that a CEO asks themselves all the time. And I think they're relevant. I've interviewed more than 450 people with lived experience of poor mental health in workplaces. Not one of them says, I want lots of money thrown at this. Not one of them says, I want a complex strategy. What they want is people to have their back during a difficult time. So I think the best return on investment is manager training. So managers can spot the signs, can have a conversation, and can help coach the individual towards the support that's right for them. Everybody throughout an organization might be at risk of poor mental health from time to time. But what we do see is that people near the top of an organization have greater access to the support and resources that we might call you know, resilience uh, in and outside of work. One of the places that I recommend people look is to the largest part of the workforce, and that's in the lower ranks. We're more likely to be stressed there through being out of control. We're more likely to have maladaptive coping strategies, and we're less likely to have access to the resources that can help us through the tricky times. There's a very long World Health Organization explanation around mental health that talks about uh, being able to contribute to communities and feeling well. I really think mental health is such an individual and complex algorithm. What makes my mental health a certain way is gonna be very different to yours or the person next to you. I do not think there is one single line that we need to take on it. What I do think is valuable is when we bring people together to understand the lived experience, to understand what the organization vision is, and to understand the gap between those things, which is where we put the resources for our support programs. Anxiety and depression always was the world's leading cause of disability. Uh, and now we're starting to see it uh, understood better, reported better, and even being talked about in cultures that previously avoided that. The symptoms of mental health challenges come out in all sorts of ways in organizations, but you'll find them in some unlikely places as well. Yes, I recommend that organizations have focus groups and staff surveys, and you'll know the type of answers that you might get because of the questions that you ask. But they'll also come out in customer reviews. They'll come out in staff retention, comes out in lots of stages in the employee journey. So if an organization really wants to get this right, we really need to go to our workforce and make it safe for them to speak up at all levels, at all different parts of the employee journey. Young people who are entering into the world of work expect this from their employer. It's no longer a nice to have. It's one of the critical criteria of whether or not I make my feeling decision to join an organization and stay or not. And when an organization gets it right, the following things tend to occur. So leadership, well, they stand up to the plate and they're actively involved. Managers are trained, they understand the issues and they can host psychologically safe conversations around these topics. HR, occupational health, health and safety, well, they're ready with the right support, support resources. And then the people, people understand their own individual responsibilities and the education piece can come in at that point. Leaders in the mental health space don't just tell their organization how to get it right, they show them. Now, that doesn't mean they have to be God's gift to well-being, a yoga mat under their arm, broccoli smoothies all the time, but it does mean they need to be open. It does mean that they need to be authentic and it does mean that they need to show up to the activities, to the communications, to the strategy and walk the floor to find out what that lived experience is really like. When we give people safe places to speak up, they will give us the good stuff. It might be painful, but in the shadows lies the gold.